Alright, hello, my name is Alexander Smith, and uh, today I'll be walking you through uh, my Sandstorm uh, sandstorm project. So let me open up my render real quick. Here we go. So this is what it looks like. Uh, it's supposed to come with a brown color, but the uh, render didn't work out how I intended, and it came in white, but you still get the idea of the shape and uh, you know, the velocity and direction of the sandstorm. So yeah. Basically what I used was a uh, billowy smoke and a particle sop to uh, really give detail and flesh out the sandstorm. So uh, I'll just walk you through it. So on the bottom here is a ground plane. Um, you know, having the ground plane helped with the uh, collision of the billowy smoke and the particles colliding into the ground plane and then going back up into itself to give you know a rolling nature that a uh, sandstorm rolling across the desert uh, the Sahara would give so I would, I would give it a more realistic feel to it um, I'll just jump right into the dots so there we go uh, first it's dropping that billowy smoke and the first thing I did was crank up this wind, wind tunnel direction so basically it's like adding a wind stop, um, but adding it directly to the smoke object. Uh, I added 10 in the X direction and 10 units in the X direction and you can see it just jumps off and just goes very fast immediately and it really gives it that velocity and feel and the speed that a uh, sandstorm would have. Um, so there's that. Uh, basically what else I did was crank up the density to as high as I can. So <laughs> I had 30 density, uh, 30 units of density, and um, obviously it became a very dense cloud, a very foggy and smoky cloud. You can't really see through it, at least in a render view, you can't really see through the uh, the sandstorm, which you can't really see through sandstorms anyways in real life. So I wanted to give that effect, so I cranked up the density to do that. Um, again, also scaling the source volume just to really scale it up and uh really make it dense. Um what else I did? Uh shape. So with the t I did uh turbulence and disturbance and dissipation. I really focused on just the turbulence and the disturbance. Uh, with the turbulence I gave it bigger swirl sizes so it you know be more chaotic and uh more uh erratic like a sandstorm would be with all the swirl sizes and the turbulence going on within the smoke and same thing with the disturbance um, simulation yep yeah uh, next I added a particle source so giving the particles into the uh, well, sourcing particles into the uh, cloud into the sandstorm will give it a more realistic uh, effect to it because you know a sandstorm just isn't it has all these little particles and dust flying around so adding these particles into it would uh, give it a more realistic effect in simulation so I did that um, I also gave it a velocity 8.5 so everything's really going pretty fast in that X direction uh, just like how a sandstorm would uh, going pretty fast in one direction and just you know tearing across the land so I wanted to do that. I wanted to give that effect. So that's that's how I did it. That's giving a lot of velocity to the particles in the uh, billowy smoke. Uh, didn't do much after that. So there's that. That's basically all I did for the auto stop, um, or auto dot network. Uh, other than that, there's mostly caching and uh, getting my uh, materials out. Uh, funny thing, I didn't know that a um, you can uh, use color, like you can use like a classic shader on the pyro, on the uh, billowy smoke. Um, I found out the hard way that uh, you have to use a pyro shader to do that, but uh, eventually I found out and uh, it came out pretty nice. I like how it came out in the uh, render view. Um, if it actually rendered in the video, it'd be even better, but alas, can't have everything. Um, so yeah, it came out really nice in the render view. Um, it looks smoky, dense. Um, the particles in it you can you can't even barely see, but if you go zoom in closer, 
you can see these little particles flying around so it came out pretty nice um, other than that added some environment light and distant light and uh, yeah that's about it so thank you for watching